in this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description of this video and also be a link at the end of the video. I do thank you for joining me today. I hope that you've watched the previous videos as well as all the hundreds of videos I have on my uh, channel already. Check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Today we're going to be looking at the export option when it comes to variables. Now, uh, right here, we're in the shell. We're working in Bash, and I can say... Um, x equals 10, we'll say. And I can say echo dollar sign x, and of course it's going to give me 10. But occasionally you might see, when people are giving instruction on stuff, they might see something like this. Export x10. And if I echo it out, it works the same. I think the first place I saw this, at least that I remember seeing it, was years ago where I was doing um, uh, SSH stuff where I was uh, exporting and creating different displays and uh, I saw that I'm like what why is that why are they telling me to export the variable what does that mean well I'm going to tell you what that means today so as you saw I created a variable let's create another variable. I'm going to say y equals 11 and of course I can say export dollar sign y and we get 11 but if we spawn a sub process let's say I start bash another session of bash so up here we're in bash we're in one session, but we just spawned a new session down here. And if I echo dollar sign y, it's going to say nothing because dollar sign because y hasn't been um, created yet. Uh, it doesn't exist yet in this session. But if I exit out and then echo y, you can see that it still equals 11 in the mother <laughs> uh, session, if you want to say that. Uh, so let me go ahead and clear the screen here. So what we can do, if I want to, I can say export in this case we'll do z equals 12 and now that we did that I can say echo dollar sign z and it says 12 and if I start a new session of bash I can say echo dollar sign z and you can see that it has passed this variable the the processes we have spawned uh, from our main process the variables are still existing in that uh, sub process. So that's where you might want to use export, where you might be spawning different uh, shells and terminals while you're working and you want your variables to follow into that, uh, but you don't want to make permanent system variables. So uh, I hope that was clear and I hope you understand it and I hope you find it useful and maybe uh, understand more because again for a while I've seen I'd seen that in tutorials and stuff and I I didn't even bother looking up what it meant at first I'm like okay if I'm supposed to export the variable I'll export the variable I do thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris with the K there is a link in the description of the video to my website films by Chris and there you can search through all my videos from both my channels I have thousands enjoy them and if you like them, think about subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and supporting maybe financially with PayPal or through patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. You can find those links at my website or in the description of the video. And even a dollar a month, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate it. If we can get, uh, you know, a bunch of you to do a dollar a month, that would be awesome. I do thank you for watching. Please visit, again, filmsbychris.com, and I hope that you have a great day.